What's up? It's a Kamel. How are you guys doing today? I got to talk about somebody called Sheila Smith, ZZ Smith, whatever you want to call her. Uh, I did an interview with her cousin. Okay. Her own cousin says that Sheila Smith scammed her. That's what she says. Now, Sheila Smith is the alleged t-shirt scammer for the Malia Davis walk. She also organized the Malia Davis walk. But uh, the thing that should be understood about that is that a bunch of people contributed to that Malia Davis walk. They gave a bunch of free stuff in order to get that walk going. Now, Sheila Smith, she's kind of an interesting character. She's in her mid-30s, and she's somebody that threatens a bunch of people. I've seen her threats for physical violence online. I've spoken to those people. You're going to see the clips in the post. She's threatened my job. She said she called my job. Uh, she threatened me with lawyers. She said the police is going to be here. I'm still waiting. Hello. And she, this woman just talks so much, okay? This woman you're gonna see later on in the video she took somebody some cancer patients picture uh, like a, of her medication and she used it as her own that person actually commented on my post last night saying that no that was my picture how could she do this you know she's somebody that seems to kind of manipulate people and not only that the people that surrounds her it seems like okay from the observation from what I'm seeing on the outside looking in these are really bad people that are affiliated with Brittany Bowens these people are no good uh, obviously Brittany uh, is no good. I don't mean whatever how you feel about that, but the people surrounding her if you saw the live stream really trashy people You know what I'm saying just look how how they carry themselves laughing joking <laughs> When they're talking about Malia Davis missing that was before they found her body You can't take these people serious and there's a lot of people that have been afraid to speak up because they get threatened You know and she did it to me or your job all sort of stuff and I could have stopped but I decided to keep on pushing and there's a lot of people that reached out. Thank you to everybody on Facebook. There's so much people reaching out to me. I'm actually going to do another interview, hopefully tomorrow with another person. And one final note, uh, as far as the Davis family, from what I've heard behind the scenes, which seems to be legit, uh, I hear that they didn't know about Sheila Smith. They didn't know about her history or her past. If this stuff is true, the allegations, they just met her for this Malia Davis organization. Because when I spoke to Sheila, she was using Craig's Davis, like, oh, the family's upset about the post that i made about the shirts she was using their name like they wanted me to take down the post about me talking about sheila and the shirts she literally told me that she they they're upset about that i posted this stuff about sheila so the, the followers upset and i was telling i was telling her like that doesn't make sense to me because i'm pretty sure they don't like me because i've been so critical uh so it doesn't make sense but she was kind of using his name or whatever the davis family and from what i hear they're not in support of scamming and they didn't know about this stuff and so that's kind of interesting the other last part is that i've heard that the same scratches that darian had on his face and on his body uh craig has had those kind of scratches before that's what i've heard i don't know if it's true it's just what i've heard it's hearsay what's up everybody it's it uh i have here nicole uh she was kind enough and nice enough to come on and tell her our, her story about Sheila. Is, is her name Sheila, by the way? Is it Sheila Smith? Is that her real yeah, name? Yeah, Sheila Smith. Yes. Okay, okay. So who are you? And what can you tell us about this? I'm her cousin. I'm from a small town called Shiner, and uh, I've been knowing her since I was little. So she reached okay. out to me one day, and she was saying she was selling hair. So it was my birthday time, so I was like, okay, sure, she's my cousin. How long Everybody's ago? been buying bundles from her. Huh? Sorry, how long ago was this? Was it like recent? Couple this years? was back in 2017 oh, around wow. Hurricane Harvey time. Wow. Yeah. So I ordered the hair before Hurricane Harvey hit, and she kept saying that the vendors got the wrong numbers or something about it cost a different price. Now it's other type of stuff. Right. So I was like, okay. So then she was like, well, I have to go report, uh, I guess, for child support, and she needed some money for Lyft. So mm. I sent her like $15, and she said that pays for there and back. So okay. then uh, I would every time I get a charge on my debit card, it'll come to my phone. Mm -hmm. So it was these charges from downtown back and forth. So I messaged her. I was like, hey, have you been using my card? Mm -hmm. And she was like, yeah, I'll send you the money back. So she sent me the money back. And then she was like, can you pay for my gas bill, my light bill? So it was like $50, $60. So I did that. Okay. So then I'm waiting on the order for my hair. And she was like, well, the price was like two something. So uh, the money that you sent me for the, the lift rides and paying my bills, I subtracted from that. So I was like, okay, fine. Mm -hmm. So then she was like, well, I'll just reimburse you your money because I'm not selling here anymore. And I'm like, I mm -hmm. thought you said that it was like delayed from Hurricane Harvey. Mm -hmm. So then um, I guess a lot of people start talking about they were getting scammed by her. So right. this girl created this group and like everybody was sending like screenshots. And so she tells me that she doesn't need my money. She lives in this big old penthouse and really? all types of stuff. 
And I remember her daughter, I think, had some type of cancer or like bone marrow or something. And she was making like tutus. So, I mean, mm-hmm. she was making tutus for everybody. And it's just like, if you're burning other people, you burn your family members. Mm. And it's like really sad. And I messaged my other cousin. I was like, hey, have you heard from her? And she was like, no, uh, we got into it a while back. And they were like really close. Like, they're the same age group. She's like uh, around 35. And I'm like 26. Wow. And she was just saying, like, uh, she goes on Instagram and she posts these sob stories. And then she goes right. and she blocks people on social media. And then I've... she creates fake pages. And it's just like, maybe she has a mental health problem. That's what I was thinking, too. Some people were telling me that she might have a mental health thing. I saw multiple emails. She closes her pages. Mm-hmm. The whole thing with the cancer thing that I posted. That was so crazy where this this... She takes a picture from some other cancer person and she posts that. First of all, she said her cancer was benign, which was weird. And that she has this, she has an Ivy bag. And uh, in the post, mm-hmm. she said that, well, yesterday's post, when she replied to it, she said that she only took oral chemo, but she has a picture of Ivy chemo. Doesn't make sense. Mm-hmm. And then she said something about surgery and all this kind of stuff. And it was just really weird. And then that person that actually posted the original post, the, can- the person that actually had the cancer, uh, she replied and she was like, that's really disgusting. That was my picture. That's a, I did that. Mm-hmm. something that she went through. So I was just like, I didn't think somebody would be able to do that kind of thing off of cancer. Mm-hmm. You know, but mm-hmm. you said her daughter has cancer or had cancer. Yeah, I think she had like bone marrow cancer oh, okay. or something. That was okay. like maybe and what back was the in two two situation? 2011, 2012. This was oh. a long time ago okay. when that happened. And the two two. Like I was telling Shaniqua, my dad had lung cancer in the beginning. Okay. And so maybe she was like creating stories like from her family members. Like recently, her great aunt died of cancer, mm-hmm. and my dad died mm-hmm. of brain cancer. So I thought maybe she was just you know like using different types of scenarios. Right. And like I told Shaniqua, kind of made me feel bad because I mean, what if she would have used my dad as an excuse or used right. his pictures? You know right. what I mean? No, kind it's, of like really really sad. No, it's really offensive to some people, especially people that have lost family members to cancer. So like in your yeah. situation, I have friends that have lost people to to cancer. So I was really surprised mm-hmm. that she would do something like that. And I've heard so yeah. many stories from different people that are actually sending me proof. They're saying from the Malia Davis walk, they're saying that they've been scammed. They haven't gotten their shirt, uh, especially mm-hmm. people that are not in Texas. There's people that just ordered your shirt and not specifically in, in Houston and they never got their stuff mailed. So um, mm-hmm. and, and then for you to come on too and tell me you're her cousin and for her to do it to her mm-hmm. own family member. Like how, how mm-hmm. much money do you think that she didn't pay you back like around roughly? Do you know or? I said maybe three hundred dollars. Wow. Really? Wow. And there's been so many people posting about that. Like I've seen so many, like three, five hundred dollars, whatever. And it's not even too much about the monetary. Like as far as like, oh, was, how much money it was. It's the fact that she's been doing this to so many it's, people. Yeah, the principal. Yeah, the really? principal, and the fact that she could do that cool. to the Malia Davis walk situation. You know, that's it's yeah. it's crazy. Um. So so you guys and no then longer I talk. Remember- uh, no, she blocked me on all types of social uh, media. Okay. So I remember the incident with the bank, like Cash App told me that I would have to file a bank disruptcy. So it took like maybe six months for me to get my money. Wow. So like back and forth, I think I have the screenshots from like the group that Shiniko created. I was mm. telling them like it's a process. Like right. you would have to file with your bank, like a dispute and it takes up to six months. And so like uh, my, I gave my bank her number. And um, she was telling my bank that she was going to go to Walmart, to Walmart, to Walmart, me the money. And my lady was the, the lady at the bank was just like, don't let her use your car no more. Mm. She was like, she's your own cousin. Like, don't do it anymore. She was right. like, give another run around. And, and then really- like, she called her again and she was sending her the voicemail. And I was really? like, oh my gosh. You know, it's just really unfortunate too, because sometimes some people, like I've been in the situation, I only have a hundred dollars for this week or two weeks or three hundred. Some people that could be like their last thing that they're trying to give or help out with. Yeah. So you know, you could really put somebody in a bad situation. Uh, and mm-hmm. the thing I noticed too, what she does is she starts like threatening people. Oh, I'm gonna send lawyers, or I'm gonna uh, uh, yeah, sue you for slander. Like, uh... Yeah, different stuff like that. I've heard about that, like police reports. Yeah, and police and stuff and all that stuff, and nothing ever happened. She's just But it's talking. like she has no proof of that. Right. Well, the thing is, too, is if she was to call somebody into court or whatever, I mean, good luck, because, I mean, I have so much proof and evidence from many people. I mean, if you want to do that, go ahead, but you're mm-hmm. going to be shooting yourself in the foot. So, um, mm-hmm. no, thank you for coming on. I appreciate that. I mean, is there any other thoughts? Like, I mean, do, do you feel she's a scammer? Is that what she is? Do you feel like she's a scammer? Or? I feel like she is. Right. I mean, you're using other people's, like, uh, downhills and, like, their problems just to right. be rich. And you shouldn't do that. You know what I mean? Be genuine if you're going to do, like, a donation or something for someone. Make sure right. they go to that cause. 
Right. And I, I was also told most of the stuff for the Malia Davis walk was like donated. So like, you know, um, I don't, I don't know where the proceeds went for the shirts and stuff. I don't know the whole mechanics behind it. But the only thing I do have proof is, and what I know is that people are telling me they haven't gotten their shirts or, or they didn't get their refund or stuff. So like no that. one has had like actual contact with her. Like that's what I don't know. Cause like I don't know. Face face, that's what I'm her. wondering. Like, I don't know how she could pull this off over there in Houston. Cause she was at the walk. So I'm thinking the people mm-hmm. at the walk, she probably gave them all their shirts. I'm thinking the people that ordered and she was supposed to mail it. She didn't do it. But I don't know how she, mm-hmm. this could be going on for so long and she's just okay. But what I noticed is a lot of people. Because I remember it was a point of time she was saying yeah. she was dating an NFL player. <laughs> and she, it was weird. I she, think, I don't know what he, what team he played for, but she would be saying, like, I'm at this game. Right. And she would, like, somebody would tell her go live and she said something's wrong with her camera. Wow. Was, yeah, she this seems started like. started back in 2016, 17. She reminds me of, like, a, like a compulsive liar. I know I've known people like that. They just lie about everything, makeup stuff. Um, like for attention, really. Yeah, yeah, and it's just really, un- really unfortunate. Um, but I'm gonna keep following up with this. Uh, I really appreciate you coming on. Uh, thank you because uh, so there's nothing like they can do about it. Like well, yesterday. Away with it? No, no. Yesterday, people. There's a group on Facebook that they're keeping track of everything that's going on with Sheila. But yesterday, okay. somebody posted a link. I'll put it in the video down below. Where you can report this stuff, uh, and that's why I'm covering this and doing this because I want to encourage people to report it uh, and get more involved. You know, stand up because there's so many people that are just being taken advantage of, and some people just kind of take it. Oh well, it wasn't that much money, and I'll just let. But she's she's living off of this. She's really taking advantage of people, you know. And especially yeah. the Leah Davis thing that that's so wrong, and the cancer thing that's so wrong. I mean, I can't even believe that. That's sad. The audacity yeah. of that, you know. So um, hopefully something gets done. I'm catching a lot of heat because <laughs> of this, you know, but um, I heard of, about it. I heard yeah, I'm catching so much heat, but I really appreciate the people like you. And there's been a lot of people emailing me, messaging me. They're like standing up regardless of this, uh, her taking attacking people. Uh, and honestly, I hope she gets help. If she really does have some sort of mental thing or something like that, I hope she gets help and, and, and fixes that, you know, so. Yeah. So thanks again. I really appreciate you coming on. Any cool. final thoughts? Oh, that's it. Just, I mean, if she scams you, go to your bank. You know what I mean? It yeah, might take a yeah. while, but you'll get your money back. I yeah, promise you, you will. Yeah. And you guys too out there, man, when you, when you with, with like donations and stuff like that, make sure to try to get it like verified. And uh, like the whole cash app discussion we had too. Some people seem to think that you can or just get a refund. Read the reviews. You know right, what I mean? read the reviews too. And, and even that, sometimes people do yeah. fake reviews. I don't know if you know, but there's businesses that pay for like all these people to go in there and just put a good review. Sometimes you can't even trust a good review. Mm-hmm. But for people with the cash app yeah. thing, like you were saying, some people think that you could just get a refund. It's no problem. Like you said, I've heard it. Like it's pretty much gone. It takes a long time. You gotta go through your bank. It's not cash app doesn't yeah. even really have much support. It's just. And then they deny you. Yeah. Like, they block out your account. And you yeah. Have to reset like a whole new account. I've heard of that too. Yeah. All right. So thank you so much again for coming on. Well, if you have any updates, let me know. I will. <laughs>